Hey everybody, welcome back to Tim Travels. It's Terry, your host. So, um, I'm gonna talk about some perks of Prime today. Cause, you know, a lot of times the extras make a big difference um, in just how you view a company or how your experience is or just, you know, just your quality of life. And so I was in, um, I was in Springfield today's, what's today? Today's Sunday. So I was in Springfield. I got there Friday night late and then I left yesterday morning around 10. By the way, I'm in like Statesville, North Carolina right now. I got a delivery in the morning at Walmart. Um, so while I was in Springfield, I got to um, eat breakfast with uh, Lyle from No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. You should check it out. That maybe that's one of the perks of Prime, right? You go to you go to Springfield, you get to see a big YouTube star like Lyle. So I had breakfast with him. Well, actually, I had breakfast. He watched me eat it, um, which you know we shot the bowl for a little bit. But um, Lyle, you know, on one of his videos, he talked about how long he'd been out, about the length of his hair and everything. And um, yeah, so uh, just just to give you an idea, um, this is what his hair about looks like right now. Now, I don't know how long Lyle's staying out. Um, he did mention he was gonna go home, try to get all his tax stuff together. But I figure like another week out, he's gonna look like this. And if he doesn't get home pretty soon, he's gonna look like this. So anyway, um, yeah, Lyle just, just want to make sure you're keeping it high and tight. Got that phase three, that moat, like any good Marine would have. Um, anyway, I, um, I want to talk about the perks of Prime, and I'll probably leave some out. I didn't really take notes, but this is just kind of off the top of my head. So one of the perks of Prime that people may not think about, and 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 I can only speak for the reefer division because I don't do flatbed, I don't do tanker. But um, a lot of times, because of Prime's size, a lot of times when we go to shippers, it's a drop and hook. Whereas almost everybody else is getting live loaded. Now, don't get me wrong, we do plenty of live loads and unloads. The unload I got, you know up the road here is gonna be live um, but my pickup was a drop and hook my last two pickups have been drop and hooks um, and probably even before that there are several national accounts that we have that are always drop and hooks and many of our customers are really good about making sure those trailers are ready in the window in fact the load I got on my back I called them before the window was even open to check just out of curiosity and it was ready so I think I think I picked I might have picked it up in the window but it was ready before the window was even technically open um, so that's one advantage the other advantage even on live unloads like I went to a place in Pennsylvania and I don't know what I had ground up chicken beaks or something in the back and I got, you know, I pulled in, it was a small receiver, I pull in and I'm behind like at least two other trucks, maybe three. And then out of a building, this dude comes and he walks up to my driver's side and he's like, hey man, go around these guys and go into this dock. I was like, cool. You know, head of the line privileges sometimes, not always, but it's, it's nice to be you know, it, it, it's nice to work at a company that has um, some leverage with customers. Um, and another perk at Prime is, you know, the leverage that Prime has with customers actually are keeping our rates up, okay? Um, candidly, the owner-operators, people that are using load boards are, are 
operating to bring our rates down, but Prime has enough bandwidth, right, to be big enough that shippers and receivers, but definitely shippers, want to keep them happy. Um, because what shippers know is every single day in the current environment, capacity is dropping out of the market. People are parking their trucks, they're selling their trucks, tons of people have given up their authority. Maybe they're going back to other carriers, you know, to lease or something, but there's a lot of capacity that has left the, you know, the truckload industry and especially on the reefer side because reefer is a little bit more barrier to entry just because of the cost of a reefer trailer like you can find a, a good used dry van for like well pro heck probably right now you could find a good used dry van for like 10k um you're not going to find a good used reefer for 10k you might find a good used reefer for 40k um and you know I'm just, I'm not saying that's the market everywhere. I'm just throwing out some place orders to give you an idea of what the difference in price is. Um, the other, you know, so the other perk that, another perk that has to do with the money and stuff is that Prime often already has pre-negotiated prices for detention so for example I picked up a load in I think I was out in California yeah I was out in California I picked up a load and the lady when I when I finally got loaded and checked out she's like man you've been here a long time well on that load even before I got it delivered they had added my detention to my projected settlement that happens not every time, but it happens more than um, you think. I don't have to, you know, I don't have to wait. I don't have to ask for it, right? They go get it for you, um, even as an independent contractor. Another advantage on, you know, the financial side is I'm sitting here at Love's fuel discounts. Prime has enormous fuel discounts. I talked to somebody, and I, and I've talked about this before, but I talked to somebody. Um, I, you know, I'll call her, I'll call, I'll say they're, they're I'll say they're a friend. Um, somebody that I've, you know, talked to more than once at terminals. And they left, went to Landstar, and they came back. Now, they, I'd ask about the fuel discounts at Landstar, and I was told they're as good as Prime. But, um, Prime has really good fuel discounts. The other thing is when you need something and you say you're at prime, nobody gives you any guff, right? There, nobody, like they, they, they ask for a couple of bits of information and then you're good, right? There, no, almost never are they like, oh, let me see if prime's gonna pay this bill, you know? <laughs> you know, like if I go in the shop if I, like, if, I, if I went in the shop right over here and I'm like, hey, I need a tire, they'd be like, okay, who are you with? I'd be like, Prime. And by the time the tires change, they already got whatever they need and I just gotta sign it and leave. Or sometimes not even sign it. Um, I, I talked to, you know, I got had to get towed back in January. The tow truck driver told me there are companies that'll literally they they will leave drivers sitting on the side of the road for like days trying to find the cheapest tow and they call the tow companies back and saying hey uh what about today can you lower your rates and the guy said he feels sorry for people but but i've seen it i've seen i saw a truck on the side of the road in utah i was it, it, this was like just north of um, this was just north of the, like the Logan exits. I drive, so I'm on 84. I drive all the way to Twin Falls, Idaho, do a drop and hook, and then I'm driving all the way back to the Salt Lake Terminal. That dude was still in the exact same place as when I left. And his drive shaft, I could see his drive shaft was on the pavement, but 
that'll give you an idea, right? Like I, it, I, that was at least, I want to say six hours, maybe more. He was still sitting there. Uh, I've never had that happen. Like people get on, people get to work for Prime in a hurry because they know they're going to get paid. Um, and there's no, there's never a debate about it. So that's some of the financial stuff. But what about the other stuff? You know, I was in Salt Lake City, I don't know, a couple weeks back, and my truck was gonna be in the shop, so you know what I did? I went and got a bunk room. Now, the bunk rooms at Prime are like, I'll call them little hotel rooms, right? They're cleaned very well. They have TVs, they have beds. Um, I like the ones in Salt Lake City, they actually have Murphy beds in them. I, I've never stayed in Springfield, but in Pittston, they don't have Murphy beds, they're a little bit bigger. But, you know, most companies don't have that. When I was at night, we had a lot of terminals. But the difference was, we didn't have any bunk rooms. Even if your truck was in the shop, you're, you're sleeping in the shop, you know? And if you've ever slept in a shop, you know what it's like. Ah, ah, like, you're not really gonna sleep. Um, and, you know, maybe if you were, like, stranded there, they'd be like, oh, we'll get you a hotel. But it's nice to have the bunk rooms even when you just want to get out of the truck, right? Another advantage, showers that they clean after each use. And, and, and this is something that people probably don't think of. If, if you are in a hurry to take a shower at a prime terminal and you go to the shower area, um and it's upstairs at each terminal. And they're like, oh yeah, we're backed up, we got five guys waiting. But you're just like doing your half an hour at, at um, the terminal, go to the gym. Even if you can't lift 10 pounds, go to the gym, go in the locker room area, there are showers there. They're, and, and they're almost always open, right? So there are showers at each gym at the terminals in Pittston, Springfield, and Salt Lake City. The showers in in Manuka are kind of more of the style that they had at night where they don't get cleaned after each use. So please pick up after yourself. Um, so that's, uh, you know, Prime has the best terminals of any company I've worked at and I would be shocked if their terminals aren't as good as anybody else's anywhere. Um, I wish they had more. But their terminals are like, you know, resort spas, literally, compared to anybody else's terminals. Another perk, you need a chiropractor, you need medical attention, you need a massage. Yeah, we have all that at our terminals, right? There's an accounting firm at the terminal in Springfield that does a lot of people's taxes. I don't use it, but it's a great perk just to have that on site. Um, Food service, 24-7 food service. Um, and, and I will tell you from having been in the corporate world, the food service is subsidized. The prices they charge, you're not gonna get a meal at most places um, for that price. You know, like you can get a full-on plate of breakfast for about five bucks. Now if you especially, you know, and that's off the line. But the stuff is good, right? I always get breakfast off the line. But, you know, everything, most everything is subsidized. All the prepared food, it seems to me the prices are substantially lower than you would pay anywhere else, especially with inflation. Like you go to Taco Bell now, you can drop 10 bucks in a heartbeat. You know, it's, it's, it's nothing. McDonald's, 10 bucks, easy. Um, and that's not even getting a ton of food. Another thing that's subsidized, the prime stores. You know, I was on the phone with one of my daughters. I was like, hey, do you like this jacket, right? Because all my family has prime stuff. And my cousin was there and she's like, they have a store? I'm like, yeah. And then I kind of panned around because I was on FaceTime. I kind of panned around. This is in the uh, Springfield store. She's like, whoa, yeah, subsidized, right? And you get prime points you know, it for different reasons. You do a survey, you get prime points. Trucker appreciation, you get prime points. If you, um, 
if you fuel, even reefer fuel, prime points, right? You can use those points in the store. I told uh, a while ago I bought a Carhartt. That jacket at the prime store, I think is, I wanna say it was back then around 78 bucks, 79 bucks. Out in town, that same jacket off the rack at like Tractor Supply Company, $104. But I paid actually $12 for it because I had a bunch of prime points, okay? The store is subsidized. Another perk at Prime, 24-7 um, mechanics. When I was at night, mechanics worked banker's hours. Like one time, I had a flat tire. I, it was actually my fault, I, I scraped the curb. I had a flat tire. It happened, I was pulling into the terminal. It's about, psh, I don't know. 4.55 on a Friday. I had flat tire on a trailer. By the time I get parked and I look at it, I'm like, oh, crap, I gotta get this fixed, right? Those guys have already punched out because they're in the, they're in the, they're in the uh, KNX Mechanics Union or whatever. So I call Road Assist, right? Um, or they called it a breakdown. I call it, but that guy's in Phoenix, and he's like, well, just go in the shop. I'm like, dude, I'm on the East Coast. It's like 5.04. He's like, oh, yeah, you'll have to go down the road to Petro. So, like, there's a Petro down the road from that terminal, but I had to limp over there with a tire that was flat um, and then wait at Petro. It's nice to have 24-7 um, support at the terminals. Um, what's another perk? You know, Prime is good about, you know, recognizing people. They just had the Highway Diamonds Gala. Um, they have, um, every year they have a picnic at all the terminals. Every year they have a Christmas party at all the terminals. No other place I've been did that. Now, some places like it, like during... Um, I will say during like Trucker Appreciation Week, um, at night, every single terminal, every single day had like a catered lunch. Um, so you always wanted to hit the terminal as many days as you could. And they also had, they also had breakfast and sometimes even dinner food um, during that week. But at Prime, it seems like, you know, it's Trucker Appreciation Week every week. Now, you know, those are some of the reasons that I like being at Prime. You know, when I go to a terminal, I mostly know I got a place to get a, a shower that's clean. Uh, I, you know, I might be able to get a bunk room. They go fast, but I'm, you know, I did it two nights in a row in um, Salt Lake City. I'm probably gonna get, be able to get something hot to eat. Um, and have a nice place to sit down, watch some TV. They have lounges, they have computer centers in all the terminals, so like if you need to do some, get on a desktop and do some work. They have, like I said, bunches of TVs, lounges, cheap laundry, not free. Now at night it was free. Um, so, you know, it's cheap laundry though, it's like 50 cents per washer, 50 cents per dryer. Um, what's another? Perk. Oh yeah, they have like, um, um, well, I mentioned the gyms. Every every terminal has a really nice gym. Salt Lake City and Pittston have, or excuse me, Salt Lake City and Springfield have basketball courts and tons of equipment. Um, there's a post office at the Springfield terminal. Um, I think I already mentioned like massages, chiropractic, all that stuff. There's a hair salon. Um, you can get a haircut or you can get, I, I, I think they maybe do nails. I don't get my nails done anymore um, just because tear them up on the truck. But, you know, for people that do get their nails done, um, I'm pretty sure they do that. Somebody could maybe <laughs> tell me if that's not the case. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, um, there's a lot of things. They all have ATMs, of course. 
Um, but there's a lot of things that people at Prime probably take for granted. Like my friend Lyle, he's never been at a different company. And uh, you know, when he says he's all about the ink, I'm like, you might as well be, because he would be in for a rude awakening if he ever went somewhere else, um, uh, at least at the terminal. And, and you know, Lyle, hell, Lyle, I think he's been at, at the Springfield Spa, terminal spa for like a week. I mean, he's on an extended vacay. So he did spring break there and you know, he's taken a couple of extra bonus days. So anyway, um, if you got any other questions about prime perks, um, you know, let me know. And you know, I think part of what drives stuff they have at terminals is based on trucker needs and wants. So if there's not something, maybe they would consider it. You know, if it's something that a lot of people want and people started talking to the DAB or whatever. So anyway, thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.